Imagine living on a remote, primeval island with no food or fresh water and lashed by hostile seas. How long would you survive? Well, there is such a place, a land that time forgot. Home to iguanas, large dragon-like lizards. These are the volcanic islands of the Galapagos, and living here takes ingenuity. Like all cold-blooded reptiles, an iguana needs a blast of morning sun to get it moving, and these rocks are great for basking. But what about food? There's nothing to eat up here. It's all down in the chilly waters. But the iguana has an answer. It soaks up as much heat as it can before it takes the plunge. The cold water kicks in immediately and the iguana's arms and legs cool down fast. But its body core acts like a storage heater, staying warm long enough for it to reach the seaweed beds. The bigger the body, the more heat it can store. That's why marine iguanas need to be so large, up to one and a half meters long. The iguana's favorite food is Galapagos algae fed by the cold but nutritious waters of the Humboldt current. But how does it stop the current sweeping it away? Another bit of smart design. Huge curved claws like an eagle's clamp it firmly to the rocks. Meanwhile though, the storage heat is cooling down. The iguana needs fast food. Luckily, it has just the right tools for the job. A blunt muzzle and trident-shaped teeth clip off seaweed as close into the rock as possible. Packing in enough to satisfy a hungry lizard takes a while, but the iguana can remain 12 meters down for up to one hour on a single breath. The secret of this trick is saving oxygen. By slowing down its heartbeat, to a quarter of its normal rate. But the sea can be a death trap for a cold and breathless lizard. A hammerhead shark can detect the electrical field of any living thing. But camouflaged against the seabed, with its heartbeat almost at a standstill, an iguana may be able to remain below the radar. This time, the danger's passed. But by now, the iguana's body is thoroughly chilled. It needs to get up to the hot rocks before it seizes up. It's a tough life, but the iguana has the right technology to thrive where others would fear to tread. <laughs> 